What's happening, people? Today we have a Wi-Fi bell against a viewer from my stream. Uh, I forgot the name of him, but I doubt that even matters. Really, this is my uh, first upload on Pokemon Sword and Shield, so I hope you guys enjoy. I haven't really been into the competitive scene in this game. Really, it feels a little lackluster. Uh, sooner or later, the metagame is going to keep shifting and shifting, so there's no real point in getting comfortable with all the stuff that, we ha that we have right now into the metagame. So I'm kind of just waiting for something, uh, like a big change, basically. And not, not only that, though, they eliminated, or should I say, Smogon uh, banned the mechanic of Gigamaxing and Dynamaxing. So you can't do either or in battle. And that was pretty much the the big kicker in this uh, metagame. That was really what's uh, what was making everything more exciting. But, but now that it's gone, there really isn't much to really do in the competitive scene. Besides just use these Pokemon from previous generations that nobody's gonna be using in a couple months after the expansions but uh, I'm gonna use the best of what I can do here also I did um, have this battle on stream there's no verse seeker uh, in this game as of this moment so I'm gonna have to use old footage or footage I am taking for my streams to uh, upload and it's pretty difficult man uh, editing the videos afterwards <laughs> but uh, I am gonna show you this battle so let's get to it so I'm gonna leave off my Torkoal and he's gonna leave off the Glissapod I'm gonna get my son thanks to that he his uh, water type attacks won't be doing too much and I can switch it to my Ferrothorn now Glissapod got a lot of buffs this generation um, well actually well I got a big one being close combat that's a huge uh, Glissapod is a monster I'm Pretty surprised this Pokemon isn't OU, but his ability kind of gives reason why. Really, Glissapod's ability is not that amazing. Um, and because of Stealth Rocks, it just puts icing on the cake on making it terrible. But uh, still, the Pokemon's viable, in my opinion. Right here, I know for a fact he's going to switch out of his um, Glissapod into something, either being his. Uh, Cinderace or his um, Koma O. And truth is, Cinderace is a huge problem for this team because this is a hazard stacking team. Um, over the course of time, I will be changing up this team and trying to uh, make it to the best version possible. So you guys are going to see me do that. Um, but yes, at the as of this moment, this is a hazard stacking team. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is go for the least seed on his predicted switch in. I didn't know what it was to come oh Cinderace. It is gonna be the Como, which is actually perfect. Um uh, we seeing this thing gain damage on it is perfect, uh, because it's just going to set up and just annoy me to no end. But luckily I do have a specially defensive toss effects here, ready to take this thing on. And now that I'm ha that I'm able to poison it here. Also poison does not miss with poison types. Is that a fact? I believe that is a mechanic in this game. Which is really good. Um, so I don't have to worry about missing Tossic. I think Tossic is very viable on Tossic X because of that reason. Um, right here, I am just going to poison him thanks to the Black Sludge, the Leaf Seed. He can't 2 it KO me. And at this point, I can just stall him out with the Poison and Leaf Seed until he dies. This is not really the type of game I like to play. Uh, I love playing offensively. Offensively? I hope I said that right. <laughs> and just being aggressive in games. To me, this just feels slow, and I don't, I know how to play in this style, but I just hate it. It's just really annoying. <laughs> um, it's just slow paced to me, and not really exciting. Uh, but uh, I have to do this, uh, this Komo is not giving me much choice, otherwise uh, it's going to kill my entire team, so I'm just going to have to stall it out. Uh, at this point, it's basically dead, there's no point in switching out at all. Uh, after this, I will be able to set my Tossic Spikes. Actually, I wanted to set up Tossic Spikes right here, knowing that this will be his last turn. But, um... I don't want him switching into anything to try and get the advantage, knowing that I would switch out. So what I'm gonna do here is, um, go for another recover, get my Tossic Spikes at a great amount of HP, so that way I can take on that Cinderace and so many other of his, uh, uh his, um... Uh, also, the Jirachi? Even the Glissapod. Sort of. It has Jure Run, but we'll see. <laughs> My Tossic Specs is a great key in this battle, in winning, so I am going to uh, kill this combo, 
Once I switch out, I will have Regenerator take me up the full, so that's great. Right here, he is going to switch into the Zero Aura. And now, th now, this Pokemon is a threat. It literally has no true counters in this game. Ferrothorn cannot wall it. Uh, Powdon and Scythe cannot wall it, thanks to Grass Nut. It is a huge monster. It gets Knock Off to all that. Uh, Zero Aura is becoming a huge threat. That Pokemon was in Yu Yu, and I was ripping on it, saying how garbage it was, but now that thing is just a monster. Uh, right here, I am going to switch into my Torkoal. I was hoping he did not go for Volt Switch. If anything, I hope it was a physical attack. Luckily, he just switched out uh, and went for a Fake Out. <laughs> and switched into a Cinderace. That is super, super annoying. Like I said, Cinderace is a big threat. If I don't get rid of this thing, it's just going to keep uh, switching up hazards on my side of the field. Um, and this is a hazard stacking team. This is how it functions. I set up hazards and my opponent just keeps taking damage. Um, right here he is going to switch into Savali. Did my phone just, just go off? <laughs> and I am going to set up my stealth rocks. Now him switching into me like this, I'm thinking he has some sort of status move to hit my Turkle with. So I am going to switch into my Conkeldor. But he goes for the multi-attack. Multi-attack? <laughs> does a huge amount of damage, so he's obviously choice banded. I have never seen a choice variant of Savali. Choice Savali is probably good, but Savali doesn't really have the stats to really abuse anything choice. It's mostly a utility Pokemon. So I did not see that coming. Um, and he is going to switch into his Jirachi now, as I also switch into my Ferrothorn. This is a great matchup, so that means I can just set spikes or stealth rocks. Um, right here, he is going to go for the Wish, and that's really annoying. Um, because I know he's going to switch into that Cinderace, and because of the range of HP it's, that it's in, I can't do anything. Uh, he's just going to get all his HP back. It doesn't matter if I Gyro Ball, it will live, because it's resisted, obviously. Um, and I'm defensive, so... <laughs> I, I have no way of killing this thing. I know he's going to switch into it, so I'm just going to have to Leaf Seed. Um, it's the best thing I can do. Yeah, I know he's about to um, switch up the hazards on my side of the field again. Which is also a bummer. Uh, my best bet here is to switch into Toss Effects. Now, I wanted to switch it to, into my Conkeldor. That way I can um, that way I can get my Conkeldor back up to speed and be and, uh, allow it to be able to ki uh, get more kills in this game. My bad. <laughs> Stuttering. Uh, but um, I thought this was honestly the better play. Just uh, switching to my Toss Effects because I know he's going to switch up hazards. And then afterwards, he's going to switch out. This way, I can be, I can um, set up Toxic Spikes. And if you try switching up Hatchers again, I'm going to be able to uh, eliminate those uh, Toxic Spikes easily. So right now, he's dealing with Toxic Spikes and Stealth Rocks. I'm dealing with Spikes and Stealth Rocks, which is huge. Um, I, at the time of this video, I had this team at its beta stage. So everything was just... I had the wrong movesets on all my Pokemon. I figured I, if I just used the team long enough, I would just figure out how it functions and works and what will work best for it now. Um, over time, I did. Uh, I think you guys are going. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. I think you guys are going to see my movesets on my, some of my Pokemon. I am going to show them off, and you're just going to see how just how bad all of this is. But. Um, Yes, I am running poor movesets on my Pokemon. My Torkoal doesn't have heavy duty boost. Not now on any fire type. Any fire type that you're going to keep switching into. Or any flying type. Anything weak to Stealth Rocks. That you constantly keep switching into Stealth Rocks. You need heavy duty boots. Heavy duty boots is mandatory in competitive battles. So, something like Torkoal needs it. Not only that, though. Uh, not only that. <laughs> Torkoal gets, um. He actually gets um, Rapid Spin, so obviously he can be a Rapid Spin user for the team. Now maybe Rapid uh, Pokemon want to even switch into him because of, you know, Drought and the uh, Fire type attacks are very strong in combination. So, really, I should be using Heavy Duty Boots. I did change that up now. Um, but it's really hindering me right now because that Cinderace is annoying. Um, right here, he is going to switch out of it though, and switch into his Savali, into the Poison, the Earthquake. I'm not sure why he's doing this. Because uh, he had better switch-ins than this, maybe even Glissopod. But I suppose he just wants to switch into Savali to uh, kill something. 
or maybe he just believes that Savali isn't that important in this game, but unfortunately, it is important because that this Pokemon was the only thing surviving a hit from my uh, shift tree. And now that he just allowed it to take so much damage, uh, nothing lives a hit from my um, shift tree anymore. And I'm supposed to have Sucker Punch on this shift tree. Um, I'm supposed to have it for Dragapult. Choice Scarf Dragapult is a thing. So I have Sucker Punch for that reason. Um, and other reasons as well. But uh, unfortunately, I don't have any of it. I don't have Sucker Punch. I have Heat Wave on my shift tree to hit Corviknight. But unfortunately, that move doesn't kill after a growth boost in the sun, which is unfortunate. So I, I eliminated, I got rid of the move for Sucker Punch, but in this battle I had Heat Wave, which is unfortunate. So this first impression can't hit my Shift Tree. Right here I am going to switch into my Fairy Form. Um, I did want to switch into my Glissopod. I mean, not my Glissopod, my uh, Tossipex, predicting that because it resists it, obviously, and I can just switch out and get Regenerator. But um, really, I just, I don't know why I didn't do it, honestly, now that I think about it. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I didn't do it. I'm guessing I just, I don't know. I guess I just wanted him to kill up my Ferrothorn after he first impression. And that way I could just switch back into my shift tree and just kill something else again. But, um, right here I am just going to get spikes again, I believe, or at least seed. As he switches into his Jirachi and going for the Witch. Now, I am not going to allow that Cinderace to get up the full HP again. No way. So I am going to go straight for the Gyro Ball, as, as he is going to switch into his Glissopod. I am not worried about this thing. I, honestly, I thought this thing would die to a Gyro Ball after that range of HP, but Glissopod is very slow. And it resists it. So, yeah, it is going to live, get up the Wish, and get a lot of HP back. Now, I don't have Protect on this Ferrothorn. I'm supposed to have Protect on this Ferrothorn as a source of recovery, because Leechy, Leftovers, uh, Protect, it gives you back tons of HP. Um, but unfortunately, I don't have that combination. <laughs> and as you just saw, I has I have Stealth Rocks on my Ferrothorn, even though my Torkoal has it. So that's pretty redundant. It's pretty redundant. So that was a mistake on my part. Uh, but like I said, all the move sets on these Pokemon, even some of the Pokemon in general that I'm using, um, I switch it all up to try and make it more uh, sufficient. So the team is working a little bit more better now, but. Obviously, I can do better. Obviously, teams take um, a lot of competitive teams. Even the best competitive teams, they take a lot of testing in order to be fully utilized. So, unfortunately, I wasn't really um, at the best at this time. Right here, he is going to switch into the volley after uh, switching out of his um, Glissopod, thanks to emergency exits. I'm going to set up a layer of spikes. Now, he can switch that onto to my side of the field if he wants to. Um, there won't be much he can really, um, he can't really negate it. Because obviously this battle is over, uh, there's only 10 seconds, no, 15 seconds left on the timer. Right here he is going to switch into Savali for some weird reason, I don't know why. Uh, this thing barely has any HP. If he attacks me, he's also going to die. He should, I don't know why he's not switching to a Cinderace, but he is going to switch into it now, as I am going to switch into my Gunkeldor. But uh, unfortunately, the timer's up, and that is going to be game. So I want to thank you guys for watching. This is a pretty fun battle. I'm pretty, I'm getting all back into this. Um, after this battle is over, he followed me. Thank you. <laughs> but uh, yes, yeah, so I'm getting back into the competitive scene of uh, Sword and Shield. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do have some more coming soon. So thank you for watching.